Okay, um, so I'm going to try to make this one short since I looked at everyone else's first vlogs and mine was like three minutes longer than everybody's. So here is a quick video of my plaster experience. casting experience wasn't uh it wasn't too bad it was pretty straightforward but just because it was simple a simple process doesn't mean that I did it well because I didn't I try to make a mold of like my fist like this you know like, stay strong black power rebel army I don't know any one of those and it actually came out looking like this. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it looks a lot better than what I thought it did, but it's still bad. Really bad. It kind of looks like a um, fossilized hamster, maybe. It could be like Captain Caveman's club. Captain Caveman! Oh, but I do want to thank Vanessa. The TA, she helped me. Thank you, Vanessa. So my first sculptor I researched was Donald Judd. He's an American sculptor from Missouri, and he died, I think, when he was 66. I think he yeah, died in 94. And I originally just looked him up because he had my same name, so I thought that would be cool. And surprisingly, I really, really liked his work. I don't really know what his, I guess, artistic vision is or any intentions that he has, but to me, it's just instantly aesthetically pleasing. Like, it's, I don't know, it's just cool to look at. He uses a lot of, like, plexiglass, trans, I think transparent plexiglass, and then, like, shiny stuff, and he makes it really orderly, and he uses really simple shapes like squares and stuff. But, I don't know, I just, I really, really liked it. I, I was pretty surprised. Oh, and also when I saw his, I think it's a piece called 1969, is that it? Yeah. 1969. Uh, I instantly saw it in my man cave that I wanted. So... I'm like slowly, week by week, building more pieces of my man cave. Last week I made my chair for the man cave. This week I found a shelf. I don't know, I don't think it's actually a shelf, but he, but he made, but it looked like it would be a really cool one. And now I want it. It's really shiny. Oh, and if I'm supposed to relate it to my casting, I would say it's the total opposite of mine because his is clean and orderly and very good looking and mine is not very clean very sandy okay and then the second artist I researched was Polly Morgan I think she's from London she? yeah she's 32 year old woman from London um, I had to go through like 10 12 people before I came along to her other people were like kind of cool but not very interesting to me but when I came across hers I really liked her. So what I really liked about her work is that I immediately projected human emotions and like thoughts 
onto the animals in her pieces. Because most of her stuff is like taxidermy an animals, but they look like they're doing uh, human like things. Like one is like a parrot, put it like it looks like on a big like uh, mirror, like like old school movie stars put on their powder and the big old mirrors with like huge bulbs and stuff. So with Polly Morgan's, I felt like I kind of knew what she was trying to get out with each piece. Um, whereas Donald Judd, I was, I just liked to look at it, didn't, didn't make me feel anything. Whereas Polly Morgan's kind of did. Um, so basically, summing up, they were both two totally different artists, but were both like equally as good. That is it. Can you breathe? Okay.